A flag raising ceremony has been held at the State House in Accra to commemorate African Union Day. The 52nd AU Day is being marked with special emphasis on women's empowerment. Minister for Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration, Ms. Hannah Tete, said special attention needs to be paid to the girl child, especially in areas of gender based violence and child marriages. <laughs> The Organization of African Unity, OAU, now African Union, AU, was formed 52 years ago by Ghana's first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, and some other African heads of state. Their underlying objective was for countries of the continent to remain politically and economically stable and have a common military force to withstand external aggression. At a time morning in Accra, Foreign Minister Ms. Hanatete and the Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, Pavlin Tende Musaka from Zimbabwe, inspected a guard of honor mounted by a contingent of the Ghana Navy. In a message read on behalf of the African Union Commission, the Dean of Diplomatic Corps said many African women are leading the call for the development of the continent. She mentioned the first African woman president, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf of Liberia, and the chairperson of the African Union Commission, Dr. Inkusazana Lamini Zuma, as women who are formidable assets, leading the effort to eradicate poverty, hunger, and diseases. The African Union has taken a great leap in gender equality, specifically on women empowerment and development, out of the realization that women the world over are the cornerstone of stability and social progress. While women have made tremendous achievements, they sadly remain unsung heroes quite often. Haven't women left indelible marks in the history of slavery? They have made great contribution and continue to do so as social reformers and as catalysts for civilization. The celebration of this year's AU Day is another theme, Year of Women Empowerment and Development was Agenda 2063. The Minister for Foreign Affairs, Madame Hanatete said it is high time Africans gave more attention to women who are capable of facilitating the continent's development. We have talked about eliminating all forms of discrimination against women. We still find ourselves in a position where those aspirations are yet to be met. And therefore it is not enough for us just to declare a year that focuses on the needs of women. But it is important for us to drill down that theme and to make sure that we begin to work together at a continental level, at a regional level, and within our country, among the different ministries, departments, and agencies, to make this aspiration a reality. African leaders were urged to reflect on a theme for the anniversary and make it count. For GBC 24, Shelly Bewa reporting.